We are on top of a big break in an investigation in Kirkland where two teenagers and one man are accused of murdering a teen during a gun swap back in September. Investigators say the victim, 18-year-old Cyrus Mason, met the three suspects at Houghton Beach Park in Kirkland where he was shot multiple times. Tonight, Frankie Thompson talked with the victim's mom about this major break today in the case. Cyrus Mason's mother says it was her prayer that her son's murder not turn into a cold case. He was gunned down here at Houghton Beach Park on the dock. Now five months later, she says she fell to the floor crying when detectives called her this morning about three suspects arrested. What happened here at the edge of Lake Washington now has Sarah Nova Juvency reciting a new prayer. I pray for everyone to, to have peace in their hearts through this. This is a difficult time and it's going to get harder. Hard enough these past five months for the mother of 18 year old Cyrus Mason. He was gunned down the night of September 16th at Houghton Beach Park in Kirkland. Now in February, Kirkland police arrested two teenagers and a man connected to his death. It's good that they're not, they're arrested and everything, but it's just this is just a horrible situation where all these families have to suffer and it just breaks my heart even more, you know. I, I'm not hurting just for myself, I'm hurting for everybody else as well. Investigators say the plan was for the group to meet here for a gun sale. They say Mason did not initiate the sale, but was on the dock to conduct the deal. Coming from a long history of hunters in the family, Juvency says she's convinced her son was set up. They intended on robbing him and stealing it from him in the first place. Investigators worked diligently to crack this case. They say witnesses were key in helping them collect evidence from social media posts to audio of the deadly gunfire. But detectives say some of the most important clues were descriptions of the getaway car. This was a piece of evidence that witnesses saw the suspects getting into. And so by being able to follow up and find forensically linked evidence, that pointed to this vehicle were able to determine that the suspects got into this car. Juvency says she's relieved answers are finally coming in, but it doesn't ease her pain. For comfort in her journey towards justice, she remembers her best friend at his best. Even though the, it was just a short life, he, I was so thankful that I got to have those, those years with him. He changed my life. And he made it better. All three suspects are booked in King County Jail. The two teenagers will also be charged as adults. Reporting in Kirkland, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News. The King County Prosecutor's Office says the three suspects could have their first court appearance as early as tomorrow. We'll keep you posted.